The 2000s. You know, I was just a kid who loved drawing Lego Star Wars. Anything that was Lego, really. I still love Legos to this day. And during this time, flat screens were just getting popular and affordable. But most households had a TV called a CRT. And if you touched it while it was on, it would shock you. Every kid has a movie that they love to watch on repeat. And those movies for me was Cars, The Incredibles, and The Pacifier. And I remember in this conference room, there was a lot of chairs that I loved to unstack to build like a fort or like a tunnel that I would just crawl through. And there was this thing called an overhead projector and my sister and I would draw on it and the pictures would you know would project on the wall once we were done from the office we would then drive and you know listen to the radio and Kanye would be playing or soldier boys kiss me through the phone and the black eyed peas that was the radio's favorite and if we were listening to other genres you know Beyonce Lady Gaga and I can go on and on about the music that would play but that would take forever but we'll mention a few more Katy Perry Timbaland Chris Brown Neo T-Pain Lewin and that's all we have time for do people have such short attention spans and then you have TV which was pretty damn good and was one of the last eras where cable TV was mainstream so if I was watching TV I'd be watching mainly Cartoon Network and Disney and maybe some Nickelodeon if I was at my grandma's house because she didn't have cable I'd be watching Cubo or PBS kids so on Cartoon Network let's see I'd be watching Star Wars the Clone Wars Ben 10 Bakugan total drama and many more to list and I remember my cousin had a Ben 10 Omnitrix both the original and the alien force watch but the original was 10 times cooler since it would pop up and it had sound effects and also in October they would do reruns of Goosebumps and that intro used to scare the hell out of me when the dog sat on the porch and his eyes changed and don't tell me you forgot about the scary godmother then if I was watching Disney I would usually be watching this with my sister and watch shows like Kim Possible, Hannah Montana, Zack and Cody, Wizards of Waverly Place and many more and sometimes they even had movie premieres of a Disney original like Camp Rock and then if we went to my cousin's house we would occasionally watch Nickelodeon, Avatar, Jimmy Neutron, My Life as a Teen Teenage robot and that's all I have to say about Nickelodeon since I didn't watch this that much I mean I watched it a little bit but I watched this the least out of them all and you know I'll, I'll name a few cube on PBS kids shows I'm just gonna combine the two super Y, word girl Martha speaks Sid the science kid you know there's so many more but that's all for now and then you got the video games the ps2 the Xbox the Xbox 360 the DS and the Wii and these are all consoles that I remember playing on mainly the Wii and the ps2 my earliest memory playing video games was on my cousin we'll call him Dan's original Xbox and Dan later got an Xbox 360 and sometimes I would watch him play mainly he played Left 4 Dead and Call of Duty I know he played other games but those are the ones that I personally remember the most and I remember I used to love watching him play World at War World at War campaign was one of my earliest introductions to history and learning about the existence of World War 2 I remember the start menu of World at War it didn't exactly scare me but I do remember it made me feel a little uneasy and I remember I used to watch him play zombies and one time he asked me if I wanted to play and I said yeah and so he handed me his second controller and we played split screen on Nocturne Toten. You know that cutscene where that zombie runs directly at you. And that's not even the end of it because now you have to play the game. And so when the game loads in, you hear this creepy laugh. And the map is just as eerie too, because it's foggy and desolate and super quiet, you know, with just ambient noises. And let me make this clear, it didn't give me a controller that wasn't on so I can feel like I was playing, you know, pretending. No, it was literally me on the second screen below, and I didn't do very good. I just decided I didn't want to play again because it was just better to watch him since he was good, well, better than me. And then at my other cousin's house, who we'll call Norman and Jack, they had a PS2, and I remember watching Norman play games like Simpsons Hidden Run, Rock Band, Guitar Hero. My older cousins and my my sister would play Guitar Hero and Rock Band. One time, I wanted to try it out and I thought, damn, I'm gonna do so good on this. Nah, I cannot coordinate between my fingers in the game. Just like with the Dan story, I'd rather just watch you play because I'm not good. And then when I played on the PS2, Jack and I would usually do split screen, playing games like Battlefront 2, Destroy All Humans, Lego Star Wars, Lego Batman. And I always had to let Jack know I was player number one, and that was because I was older. But with Jack being two years younger than me, he wasn't exactly knowledgeable. He would scratch pretty much much most of the PS2 games over time, which irritated Norman and even me. And one time, he was messing with the system settings and accidentally changed the language to, I think, Spanish at the time. And Norman was mad. And we still mention that from time to time. Norman was also a frequent internet user. He played games like Maple Story, Club Penguin, Roblox, and Combat Arms. I remember I mainly enjoyed him playing the Combat Arms zombie mode. And then him and my sister would always watch music videos during that time as well. And one time, Norman was playing the music video for Thriller, and when Michael Jackson turned 
turns into a werewolf and his eyes turn yellow. I had to run behind the couch and hide from him. That shit scared me. And then let's not forget about Flash games, right? You know, my plugs for the Flash games were Addicting Games, Pog, StickGames.com. And about the Stick games, the Stick games were so cool. You had like a fighting one, a Spartan game. My sister would play this game, Panfu and Pandanda. And I used to love playing it, but my sister hated it when I played it because I logged onto her account. And understandably, I would mess with her progress and all, and she would tell my mom about it. And honestly, if I was in her situation, I would have done the same thing as well. And then, you know, you got Windows XP, Solitaire, Pinball, Minesweeper, and then you got the DS. And I remember I used to play games like Mario Kart, Cooking Mama. I remember I had the GeForce game. It was, it's not a good game. It was terrible. It's hard. I had a Bakugan game. Picto Chat, man. Let's not forget about how awesome Picto Chat was. The Wii. During this time, my mom, sister, and I were living with this lady and her kids, and they had a Wii. And I would play and hang out with their kids. And we didn't only just play video games, but when we played the Wii, it was crazy fun. Wii Sports, Mario Super Sluggers, Mario Kart. The son, who we'll call Cal, he was one of those people who didn't really put the Wii strap around his wrist. He was one that needed to, because that kid would swing his whole body into it. He threw the controller so many times because of his exaggerated movements. And it's pretty hilarious to think about now. But back then, honestly, it was a little hilarious back then too. Norman and Jack also had a Wii. Jack and I mainly played together. Wii Sports, Forced Unleashed, any Lego games really. And sometimes we would ask Norman to join us too. I think my favorite at the time was Forced Unleashed, since you could swing the Wii remote like you were Star Killer. It was great. The 2000s was a time that was so long ago, it feels just like it was yesterday. It's crazy to think that The Dark Knight came out 15 years ago. And when I first saw that movie, I would always quote, Why so serious? And unfortunately, but all good things gotta come to an end. And this means I must conclude this video as well. I hope that I won't forget this time of my life because there were so many good memories. And just before I end this video, to my subscribers, thank you for waiting a whole month for me to upload. I know this isn't exactly a gaming video, you know, the usual thing that I upload. I wanted to experiment on making a video about nostalgia, just talking about the things that I grew up with. And I just wanted to try editing something different. But I'll always be mainly uploading gaming videos, but every once in a while, I'll try uploading something a little different, you know, experimenting. Once this video is uploaded, I'm going to upload another gaming video but after that video i probably won't upload for another month i don't know we'll see but uh thanks for sticking around and uh this is where the video ends